don't own the rights to this music. Star. Why, Wolf? <laughs> Good morning to you all. Good morning. Wow. That was a pretty intense four minutes. Um, and it's just remembering the codes, remembering the downloads, remembering the self remembrance of your mastery, of the Creator within, of the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom, and whatever you want to be. And one thing I want to say before we get into this dialogue between me and Morningstar. If someone shows you kindness, if you see someone being kind to another person, just know that that is a gift and it's a very good reflection and to not only being kind to yourself, because once you're kind to yourself, it allows you to be more kind to others and more of the service to or others oriented being. So that was my little thing. Uh, tapping into God's first energy in the great I am. Whew. Hi, diving deep into middle mother guy earth. Grounding. Back up to source God energy in the great I am. Breathe, expansion of heart. 
Brevity, courage. Otea shukotea na, eata, ayana, eata. Kundalini is coming in and around. Oh, there we go. Wow, there we go. Whoa. Sotea, sotea, sotea. It's just um, amazing how taking just five minutes, four and a half minutes a day, can change your life, change your day. And it's, it's awesome. So whether you watch this now or later on, the power is still the same. So welcome and thank you for watching on this glorious, glorious Sunday. And taking the time to enhance your spiritual muscles to really kind of have a powerful meditation and I'm not telling you I never tell anybody to meditate for five hours only if it's truly needed for you but you can have a and whip up a mean guided meditation for 10 to 15 minutes or and it one can, minute or just tapping in in a nanosecond absolutely just tapping in and mm -hmm. like and the brevity of your heart and the opening and opening and opening and opening. So I was going to light this, but apparently I'm not going to. So this morning, let's talk about what happened this morning yeah, in the pool. Yeah, we were, uh, we were in the pool, and every time me and her get in the pool, we have these amazing downloads, and we're kind of just being playful and exercising, and it's very, very therapeutic. But Morningstar kind of extended her hands, and there was just this wave of golden white light energy. I don't know what that is. But it's very beautiful and it, and it just really taps you into the uh, codex of your soul. And that's what it is. It was like we've had rain here for like off and on like the last three or four days. And I don't do well in rainy weather. I, it's kind of okay at first, but after a while you're like, okay. So the sun was out. And so I personally um, have been, you know, I have dialogue and I have conversation with spirit about, you know, I'll look at my 3D or I'll see reflection of why do I have this attitude? What, what's going on here? What's going on there? And it's always kind of like the, what's the word? I don't know. What, what word? Um. That is so wild when in, when something just goes. So it is the looking at the what is what's that word? What am I? Why am I at loss of the word? Um, looking at the uh, soul, the heart, the entity of the I am. Yeah. Looking at the three D. Okay. The observer observing. Oh, there for the go. love of God. <laughs> Oh, for the love of God, the observer observing. So in my, in the rain time, you know, you're kind of like, eh, 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 right? And then it's kind of like the sun comes out. And this morning, you know, there's a meme that it's like, if you don't catch your thoughts in the first 30 seconds upon waking, it will go across your entire day. The first 30 seconds, I've been playing with that a little bit. Sometimes I'm like, no big deal, I get up, I can't wait, get a cup of coffee. But sometimes if I lay there just long enough, all of a sudden, doubts or fears or insecurities start coming in for, for me. And I'm like, what the F is going on? And lots of times I'm like, screw this, I'm just going to get up and drink, you know, go out and get settled and, you know, light a fire or meditation and dispel. Dispel what? Those negative voices, the negative things that want to come in, it's like immediately, they're just waiting for an entrance. They're just waiting for a, you know, some kind of a, an access to the embodiment of the observer. The observer observing is whole in source energy. It's whole in source energy code, codex i.e. the sun in all of its glory. That's who you are, that's who we are in our key signature, like the sun, always shining, always bright, always full of life, vitality, of full essence, not lacking anything, right? That's the observer. But in, but in our 3D essence, 
they look for the holes. They look for little pinpoints to get in. How do they get in? They get in by For some reason I'm having I'm getting I'm getting like spiritual, so let's enact protocols again. Oto shikotea na ata o shikotea. Thank you, Archangel Michael is on board in the house. Thank you. Grandmother, the elders three galactic just zoomed right in. Hatoshikoteana, beautiful uh, green energy of of being mm -hmm. grounded. Oh, being grounded in Gaia. And there we go. Here comes the midnight, the stars, the universe, and the balance. And there we go. There we go. So they get in by holes of condemnation, fear, lack, anger, resentment. Those are the negative entities that are seeking access into you, into you, guilt, any of that. In the great I am, what is it? It is the fruits of the spirit. It is love, peace, joy, kindness, righteousness, everything that is great and wonderful and beautiful. Everything, the flower, the tree, the grass, you know, a smiling child, the smiles on our face, right? The smiles and the essence of our very core being and God's source codex, key source energy, right? That is in wholeness. Step outside of that, then it's a mucky mire. So what happens in the first 30 seconds? You might have had a bad dream. You can wake up with that resonating still as you come aware, you might have had a bad dream. You know, and it can affect you immediately upon rising. So, where am I going? So, we were out by the pool, and I just, I had to take a moment because I'd been in some kind of like condemnation. Why? Who the fuck knows why? I don't know. Stuff, thoughts, like little zings, like little arrows shot, right? Of discouragement or condemnation or fear. Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take the bait? That's what it is. Taking the bait. Taking a, a negative, it's almost like a, a negative energy field coming in like lightning. Not of the good kind, but like, are they going to take the bait? Are they? Are they? That's not God's source energy. But are we tempted to take the bait? Yeah. Do we have things from our past that are unresolved issues? Yeah. In shadow work, that's what happens in shadow work. You go deep. You shine a light to everything that's hiding, everything that's hiding. Lots of times, this is a year. This is year, this is day, this is month. This is a, a life ongoing process, right? The light gets shined on different recesses of the darkness hiding, right? How, why do we look for it? How do we look for it in getting triggered in life? getting triggered. Oh, I don't have enough money to meet all my bills at the end of the month. Oh, hello, that triggers what? Anger, frustration, what? God, God source energy and the great I am is not big enough to handle little old me and my bills. Lie, right? So <laughs> it's just like all of these little things. But, but it's so, such an important message because it is an identity of us in our 3D. It affects our manifestation ability. It affects who we are in our key signature. Before the great I am, before the galactic councils, before everything that is good and wonderful in the observer, everything is perfect and beautiful and wonderful. But the game, the play that is enacted out in front, it's a it is like a game. It's kind of like, uh, okay. We're... Sometimes, and most of the times, Gastro Synergy uses this to grow us up. To grow us up. We want things. We want more power. We want the ability to turn, you know, metals into gold. You know, whatever that is. Whatever is in your heart of hearts and dream of dreams to to manifest and and to just... You know, like, oh, I want to do this, and I want to see this, or I want to travel, I want to do this. And it's kind of like, they say, okay, well, first, how are you going to handle this down here? Let's see, 
Let's see what's going to happen if this happens. What's going to happen? Well, it, they're growing you up. It's growing. It's growing you up. That's what it is. And it's you have to judge what's real and what is an mm, illusion that uh -huh. you have to see through. That you have to break through. This there's three doors, and one's full of light. One's full of normalcy, and you live kind of like a roam like a zombie. And then there's another door that's full of darkness. So what door are you going to walk mm. into, and what are you going to be today? What is it going to be heaven or hell? So you have to see what's real, and you have to see what's true, and you have to see what's the embodiment of the light, and what is holy and sacred to you, and what resonates with you. And it doesn't have to be my resonance. It doesn't have to be her resonance, but it has to be what is for you and what is for your alignment and what is going to up level your ascension process and we're, we're always seeing through thoughts and emotions and triggers and all of these different things and we have to see that a lot of these emotions are not real we feel like we have to we feel like we have to be triggered by this like I watch a competition show sometimes and she's like you're getting angry and I'm like oh I'm not getting angry but I'm just, I'm very loyal about stuff. But that's just who I am. I'm very loyal to a T because I want to get to the root behind all things, to see truth in all things. And this isn't me being braggadocious. This is me giving an example for you guys to sort of understand. Your spiritual journey is trying to get you to be loyal to your alignment. I feel that. <laughs> Oh, it's trying energy to. Just came in. Oh. It's trying to show you a lot of hustle, a lot of loyalty, and a lot of respect. And a lot of that, if you only feel that for another person, why are you not feeling that for yourself? Wow. Why are you not feeling that for yourself? You don't feel like you deserve that respect, that that value, that confidence, that empowerment, that achievement, that fulfillment. It's not having these things. It's not having these things. It's it's feeling love, that divine self love, for yourself. It's not it's not going live. And oh, I wanted to show you guys before I got ahead of myself. Look at that. That's two years worth of work. Do you see that? That's dreams. Those are dreams written in the stars. That is you, dear beloveds. That is the collective. That's what we're trying to encompass. But we're somewhere in the middle of being clamped down or being expanded and lifted mm -hmm. up. It's good. So it's like there's a ball of light, that's who we are, and this ham wants to bring us down and and this ham wants to lift us up. Are you going to be brought down or are you going to lift yourself up and are you going to lift others up? And there's a lot of metaphors that you can use. <laughs> There's a, there are a lot of metaphors because you know even when he was doing that it was like well going down lots of times is being grounded in Gaia and okay. going up is also is <laughs> got source energy I'm just saying but there are lots of metaphors however word picture you want to use mm -hmm. you want to use like even just now they just showed me you can literally draw a circle on a piece of paper like this big and then draw another circle uh, you know like this big and it's kind of like and sometimes it's helpful to write down words or things that you want okay in this circle oh man I want this and this and this and this and this okay great awesome but in this circle what's stopping that from happening mm -hmm. write that down what is it self-judgment what condemnation what maybe lack what fear you know what so because someone told you your whole life you're not gonna amount to anything you're not gonna do anything with your life you're a failure who are you you know how who do you think you are you know, stepping outside the family boxes, stepping outside of anything that's known from generations past, you're damn straight. Because we, our key energy signature has been written on the stars before the beginning of time. And no matter what family you were born in, and no matter what is in your DNA, what is beautiful and what is awesome about your key energy signature is that you're alive and that you are here now and what you say goes and when you look into that mirror and you say I love you and I am for you and nothing and I mean nothing is gonna stop me from entering into the brilliance that is before me things have tried to trip me up things have tried to trip you up things came into my life 
to destroy me, to, to destroy me. And it had not been for the grace of the God I am key energy signature within me to get by, to make it through another day. It was that. It was that. And a lot of people would say it was grace. You're damn straight it was grace. It was the Codex God Source Energy within my own key signature. I mean, if we wanted to go into, we could like literally write a book about what I went through as a child, what he experienced in his life, and our family DNA lines. Oh my God, it's like, it could be like a show. I mean, it'd be, it'd be worse. It'd be like a movie with like violence and, and murder and death and, 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 you know, all of these abhorrent things, right? But now, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. One star and white wolf. Here and, we are. And it doesn't have to just be us. I think she got that. But it could be you. Yes, whatever, we're just... A, it, whatever we can do, you can do it. You have the abilities. You have the gifts. It's just you have to accept them, and you have to be receptive, and you have to dedicate and be loyal to your craft, to your soul craft which is meditation, which leads to your soul journey. Your soul has a journey and it has an infinite number of ways that it can go through this journey. You are the infinite reality. And you're trying to become absolute in this time. Right. And it's really just a lot of conception and it's a birthing process. It's over and over and over and over and over again. And it's having yeah. the goal the goal to believe in yourself to believe in yourself I, I resonate with that believe in yourself mm -hmm. to believe in yourself the goal to do that to give your own self permission give yourself permission like right now Grandmother, I'm, I, I always look back to see what's going on with grandmother. You know, she's like either doing a thumbs up or extend or, you know, ah, you know next chapter or whatever, whatever. So, anyway, so it's almost like uh, it's almost like that. So today, if there are things in your life, can we go there? Yeah. Yeah. You want to you want to lead it or do you want me to? Go ahead. If there are things in your life today that are they're, they're just they're tripping you up, they're tripping you up condemnation, judgments, you know, my parents are both gone. It could be, you know, you could have a parent, you could have a, a spouse, a significant other that just, it's like, eh, eh, it's like, eh, 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 and you think, oh, because how they're treating me or how they're reacting to me, I must be wrong. Um, because of this, eh, eh, it, you know, because of this friction and this disjointedness, I must be doing something wrong. What is that? What is that? Well, some people need to let go and just let those people go on by. You know, quit listening to your parents if they're telling you that you're a failure. Hello? Quit listening to relatives or friends that are just going to, you know, the naysayers, right? You're, you can't make, who do you think you are? You can't do this. Lots of times when you have a dream, don't tell anybody. Hold that dream write it, dream it, make dream boards, all this stuff. You hold that dream, like hold, you know, like hold the cards close to your heart, right? Hold your cards close to your heart. Let it birth. Breathe. Let it ferment. Let it be like fine wine. Or if you have, if you've birthed a baby, you know, it takes a just a, a gestation process of allowing, hold on to it. Don't tell anybody about it. Don't. Trusted ones. Once they can believe with you, they'd say, yeah, I see what you're doing. I believe in you. I'm for you. Yeah, those are people on your team. Yes, share your heart. Share your heart. Share your life. But those that are against you, mm -mm, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And you just smile. You just smile. You just smile. There's the door. Let them walk out. It's okay. It's okay. There's the door. They can walk out figuratively, and they can walk out physically. Or you can just, it's Walk okay. You can, they can believe whatever the hell they want to believe. They can believe whatever the hell they want to believe. I mean, I grew up in a situation where I, ha I, be I believed enough. I had enough courage in my own self. Because I grew up a, a, 
around very dominant, very headstrong. So at times did it, did it make me, as a small, small child, it destroyed me. It did. But as I got older and as I got into my preteens and in my teenage years and I started to kind of get into my, it's like, what? You want to be like that? Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm about. But there was a truth to that. And there was a, there was a time for that. A time for that. Was I always right? No, I wasn't. But I was learning to step out. I was learning who I am, who Carla and her key signature energy was. And standing and learning to stand my ground. Learning to say, you know what? Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, right? That takes some gall. You have to, you have to really, to get into that and to learn, especially like if you've had an abusive apartment, a partner, I'm sorry, or anyone like that, that have just, man, man, they've rolled over, they rolled over, they rolled over you time and time and time and again. But then the day comes and you look at that fucker or you look at that person and say, you know what, today's it. I'm either gonna die, one of us is gonna die, but it's gonna stop and it's gonna stop now. Some of you might have gone through situations that are like that. It's very violent. It's very horrific. But I personally went through situations like that. I can speak. I survived, okay? I did. I survived, all right? There are others. You might not know what the hell I'm talking about. It might have just been, it's okay. It's all right. But for those that have, please know that it's not over, that you have the authority in your key energy signature to just make it stop. Sometimes you have to remove yourself some, from the situation. Sometimes you have to remove them from the situation. I don't know why I'm going there with this right now, but somebody needs to hear this today. We walk away and we wander in the woods to find ourselves. And that could be a metaphor, figuratively speaking, that you can use to let yourself know that everybody, it costs you a lot of things, but it's costing you all the things that are holding you back. And you've been persecuted for so long, you've been silenced. You've been treated like you were a little mustard seed. That you were this tiny. Or an ant. That they could just squash underneath your boots. really, you were the whole equivalent oh, of the landscape. I feel that. <laughs> you, you are the environment. You are the power. You're the charge. You're, you're the, the embodiment yes. of God's source energy. And... We get, that happens to us not to push us around and to make us feel like victims. It actually brings us to a victorious state because it builds you resilience to face adversity head on no matter how many times you get your teeth knocked in that you can just put your teeth back in there or go to the dentist. But, you know, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? It's, it, if we don't understand how to get through that and then we're not going to be able to teach people with this wisdom that's filled with love. And in the supreme beings, they see it all. They saw the beginning, right? But they know down here, right here, you know, sorry, with the screen, you're going to, like, no, you're going to wake up and you're going to get it and you're going to become empowered, you know? And it's like, it's like, oh, right? Those signposts, whoa, wait a minute, this one's finally waking up. There, there she goes. She's, she's coming into her authority coming into her I am. She's coming into, I'm not going to take that shit one more day. <laughs> one more minute. I'm done. Then I'm done. And a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. You're just done. You're done. You're done. Next. <laughs> and um, we give into like these concepts of, of it's like being selfish or it's like I have to do this for my family. I have to do this for my friends. But really, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of guts to really seek out your own happiness and what feels right for you, not what feels right for everybody else because there's some people who's been living their whole lives expecting to help everybody to get these materialistic things, to have, these, have this big house and have a lot of money. But once you start tapping into the I am presence and you tap into that ecstasy that is inside of your heart and stop thinking with here, Stop thinking with here and start thinking with here and then get into the game. And then you're into the game because you're leading with your heart. And when you're leading from your heart, you're leading from a place that allows you to have a lot of allowance. 
that can miracles can happen so a lot of there's a lot of coherence to that you've seen through the illusion you've seen through the muck and the mire and the fogginess of everyone's thinking in the 3d because your knowledge comes from the multiverses so if your knowledge comes from the multiverses people are not going to grasp you you're not they're not going to get you they didn't get Notre Dame. they didn't get Joan of Arc they didn't really even get Jesus no, they didn't. <laughs> and they they loved Jesus they still nailed him on the cross people are not going to get you but the weapons that are formed against you have no power over you dear beloved because there's going to be more people that are going to chase you down with blessings and lots of times and interesting that you go there because lots of times in my past when I was being spiritually when I started out on this spiritual journey I literally would get weapons coming down in spirit <laughs> I would get like a knife, my shield, a staff, you know, and it was just like learning to wield, learning to, you know what I mean, learning to wield. And I think in, in that energy essence, it's empowerment. It's empowerment. It is for empowerment to know what you're made of, to know what tools that have been given to you in the energy, in the energetic field for you to use. For you to use now I'm gonna say something I'm gonna go back so lots of times when I am um, there's a couple things I want to talk about um, real quick so okay first of all okay so if something shows itself you're always supposed to test the spirit okay test the spirit yeah I mean I see a lot of stuff I can see a lot of stuff when I tap in lots of times I just like eh, I'm I don't want to tap in day you know I, I don't want to see I don't want to see I'm just I want to live I want to live in the 3d I don't want to see anything I want to watch this show anything but sometimes you know something will show up and so one day this this beautiful being showed up and it was glorious it was beautiful but I was like I I like wait what and I looked again and I was like no and it was like no and that thing collapsed into this like uh, goblin what the hell was that thing Gargoyle? like like no like golem on oh Lord like golem and it just kind of like oh I was exposed and it kind of crawled off into the darkness right so there's stuff like that so so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves and another thing that I want to talk about is also so that is very true test the spirits test the spirits test the spirits absolutely test it test it test it another thing is lots of times with me in my energy field I will there's a balance there's a balance and so I will something I don't care it's like do pay this do this do that I feel into the energy of it and it's kind of like if it feels light and brevity I go with that and if it feels this heavy dank nah I don't so I always go into this balance mode of I don't care what it is do I do this and it's kind of like I feel into the energy it's kind of like uh, yes or no, and then it's kind of like you know. A lot of people, you'll you'll you will use your pendulum. You have different ways of seeking out, you know, whatever it is. But for me, that's what I will do. I will feel into the energy of it, and it's like, yeah, it feels light, it feels good, do it, right? And so, anyway, I don't know why I had to show that, but I did. It's time to do some energy work. So they guys should go there now, Rotoshi, and not a guy you walk at the wash out of the town. You should cut that. Okay, there's a gold flex of energy coming in right here. What do she got there now? It a mo auto, a she cut the dea na, a ma at a moto she cut that. It's almost like a um, Atlantis, uh, Oto she mm -hmm. golden energy from Atlantis. Oto she cut the ana at a ato she cut the ama, a atawa. Wow. Wow, that is coming straight from God's source energy. Whew, came in like an arrow, man. The I am presence is within all of us. All of us. In our molecular structure. In the very essence of our being, of our DNA code, the I am within human form. Now, there's some flowers now. Beautiful, some Kuan Yin energy. Thank you. Otto does Saint Germain in the front. Now, they've lit up. 
candles, aqua candles today. Okay, so who is the god of the water? Who is that god? White Wolf. God of the water. God of the water? God of the water. Think Marvel, think... Aquaman. No. Who's his father? I don't know. At the, uh, no, she got the, at the... With the golden tri... The, the golden tri... I know who you're talking about, but I don't know his name. Okay. That is the energy of that. So the aqua candles are lit. Wow. They just deposited this beautiful energy. It's it's like a river, but when it but it's it's so palpable. It's so it's like you can touch it and it's water that just flowed in. And they said don't worry about the name. Gold surrounding that. Oh, wow. Thank you. And then rubies. There's a star alignment taking place. Do not fear the full moon or the many phases of the moon. It's just a witness in the sky radiating from God's source energy and all of its beauty and all of its beauty and all of its beauty. May this be a time of healing. May this be a time of blessing. May this be a time of release. As fine jewels and pearls are being deposited into our spirits. May the Shikana glory. Ah, the scrolls. The original codex energy of the great I am key signature component that radiates and resonates throughout all of life in every level, in every multi-level, in every multiverse. And now sky blue. Wow. And that beautiful golden, it's like almost this beautiful golden uh, archway above. There we go. Wow. It's quite lovely. Some of you, there are necklaces being deposited right now. You're getting a new necklace as a sign of your authority and empowerment of who you are in the great I am. So they got that bush at the and each necklace has its own writing of its individual key signature of your individual key energy signature. Oto shikote nama I see lightning, oto golden lightning being fed. Oto shikate de no totia the symbols, the symbolage, the letters, all of it. Oto shikate ana atea, oto shikate ata ana ana. And now the beautiful green leaf, the green, green energy. Mother Gaia Earth. And the balancing of the two. 
Ataka, Ataka, Atea. So the light, the flame, the candle has been lit. Otea, Toshikata, Motea, Naeta, El, Toshikotea, Naeta. Big Chief has just came forward. Otoya umushika inaetika uwata inyama ata uwata. Anaeta uwa shekate awa. Energy, they're showing me energy flow going in from the northwest of the United States into the southeast and then also uh, northeast into the southwest. Ote shekate ana ana shekate ana. I'm bringing up, there's golden energy coming up into the midwest. Ototo shekate ata ma ataya. Sealing up the other directions in light blue, sky blue energy. Ata umwa, ata anomo, ata otika anomo, oshikatea, oshishishotea na, with the over guidance of the Galactic Council, ado oshikatea na, and all firing codes are lit. One, two, three, and four. Hatuwa, hatushoya. Well. And the rocket's taken off. Ah, shit. I am. <laughs> I am. Whoa! I am like, whoa! That is the best drugs in the whole world, right there. That is like the best everything, right there. Being lit. Man. Being lit. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And I also want you guys to let you know that for both of us is um, $200 for a one hour session and I'm running a special for $10 for 10 minutes, $30 for 30 minutes, and $50 for an hour. And I also just want to show you guys once again, that's the I Am Movement, that's us. That's two years in the making and we're very proud of what we've done in this two years and it's had its challenges and tribulations but at the core of it, so it's I, like I want to buy a cake. <laughs> I, I don't regret it for a second. And if uh -huh. you guys rewatch this, the energy is still the same. Um, and also, and share it to your friends and, and those that you love and trust. Yes, don't don't share it to your <laughs> some of your friends. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, are we good? Okay. Well, uh -huh. God bless you all. Share share the I Am Movement. Go to our YouTube channel, Morningstar I Am Movement. Uh, no, uh, they Bitch you, Morningstar at I Am Movement. Instagram, I underscore M underscore Movement, all lowercase. Morningstar uh, 967 TikTok. And Divine Ray, Morningstar and White Wolf. We'll be doing some more videos, but this video will go out to all the other platforms. So God bless you all. And you all have a good evening, morning, day, or night. Okay. Uh -huh. And so it is. And so it is. Ate a kushikatea na eta wushikatea ta ayata a to no shota nea a shatea na ma ishikatea pa sealing up all the energy. Utu shikotea and sending it back out to God's source energy. And so it is. And so it is. Peace uh -huh. out. Peace out. Morning Star and White Wolf. Thank you guys. <laughs>